Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Showcase Standalone plugin, which was developed by Keller Kind. If you haven't heard of the original Showcase before, it was a shop plugin developed by Narrotux that allows you to set up shops that display what they're selling as an item hovering magically above a half block. So I have some shops over here, but they're not above a half block, so I'm not using the original Showcase. And why am I not using the original Showcase, and why am I using Showcase Standalone? Well, there's a couple of reasons. And first off, Showcase lacks a way to create shops that are buying items, which is a major problem for me. Um, I don't always want to scour the world to see if somebody's selling the item I want to buy. Sometimes I just want to set up a shop and say, I'm buying this, is anyone selling? So that's an advantage. Um, also, the shops in regular Showcase need to be set up through a combination of using the sneak key and working with on-screen menus. Um, and this might be easier for some players, but I think the command-based sh Showcase standalone is a little bit more straightforward and thus easier to use. I mean, everyone's used to using commands to do things, so um, there's really nothing new about that. Um, and to add to matters, some servers have had trouble implementing Showcase. Um, it has some reliance on different plugins such as Spout. Showcase seems to have had some trouble updating as fast as Showcase Standalone as well. And it's not always compatible with every server configuration just because it relies on different things like Spout. Um, so for all these reasons, I'm a fan of Showcase Standalone and I'm going to talk about Showcase Standalone. Alright, so that's enough background on Showcase and Showcase Standalone. Let's get to actually using it. So, creating a shop is very straightforward. In order to make a shop, you can hold the item you wish to sell in your hotbar and type slash scs and then sell. Then hit enter and right click where you'd like the showcase to be. So I just created a showcase in the corner here and it's going to sell there's 20 bones. Now in most cases this isn't exactly the behavior you want because this is selling all of the items of that type at only one dollar. So one dollar I think bones are probably worth a little more than one dollar so I would sell it for more than that. Um, so in order to more precisely manage your shop um, I'm going to need to use some additional arguments. Now, these here are the the basic arguments that you can use. And so I'm going to walk you through using some of them. All right, so let's say I want to sell these arrows, or maybe I just want to sell 20 of these arrows, and I want to make them $10 a piece. So in that case, I'll type slash SCS, and then sell, then this, for the item that I'm holding. I'm going to say I'm selling 20 of them and $10 a piece. Then I hit enter. Then I right click where I want my shop. And there we go. So it put 20 of those arrows in this shop. And they're all priced at $10 a piece. Now in order to buy from this shop, I can right click it. And I just bought one arrow from it, but okay, keep buying arrows. Uh, let's, so that does it one at a time. It buys one item at a time. Now, if you hold shift, which is the sneak key for me, now your sneak key might be different. So whatever your sneak key is, hold that. Then right click, and it buys larger amounts at once. So I just bought 10 of those, and now 
this shop is empty. And whenever I look at it, it's gray. It says that it's inactive. Um, so if I left click on any shop, I get to see who owns it and details about what it's buying or selling. And as an admin, I get to see the shop code, which is that line at the very bottom with the random string of letters and numbers. Now that's not really an important thing, and other people won't see that if they're not given the permissions. So I can just do the left click wherever I'd like. Oh, this shop's active. I could still buy bones from it. Unfortunately, this shop's all sold out. So it is no longer selling any items. This shop is not sold out. And neither is that shop. All right, so that worked pretty well because I had all the items on me, but let's say that I'm interested in buying something like obsidian, but I don't have any, any obsidian at all in my inventory, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to buy it. I can't use the this command, but fortunately showcase standalone allows you to do something kind of different so you can do showcase standalone like that then buy then re type the thing that you're interested in buying like obsidian in this case and say I want to buy 64 of them and I'm willing to offer sixty dollars per each alright now I right click where I'd like this and there's a shop I left click on it. It's a buy shop. It's buying for 60. It is buying up to 64, but it hasn't gotten any yet. And it's owned by Xtropy. It's buying Obsidian. It's active. So that's pretty simple. And if you know the items, like n numerical code, you can also type that. I don't actually know the numerical code for obsidian, so it's just easier for me to type obsidian. But if you know it, you can use it. Alright, so now let's say you're in the middle of setting up a shop. So I'd like to sell these diamonds, so I'm going to do a slash SCS sell. And then you realize, oh wait, I didn't really want to do that because I remember that the command slash SCS sell we'll sell all my diamonds for only one apiece. Well, that would be a pretty stupid thing to do. So, I can always just type the slash SCS abort, and the showcase operation is aborted. I can right click all I'd like, and I'm just right clicking. It's not making the shop, because it's been cancelled. Alright, so the last thing I want to talk about is getting rid of a shop. So I have a shop here, but nobody's going to it. Apparently nobody wants to buy my cobblestone at $1,000 a piece for some bizarre reason. I just don't understand. I think it's worth that much, but whatever. So no point in me leaving it here in the shop. I can do a slash SCS remove. And then hit enter and right click on this showcase. It got rid of that and put all of the cobblestone back into my inventory. <laughs> Easy peasy. So let's remove this shop over here as well. Slash SCS remove. We hit enter and then we right click on it and look at that. My inventory was too full to fit all the bows in that shop. So, it didn't remove it all. It says, you do not have enough space in your inventory for all of your showcase items. Drop some items and then try again. It left nine items in the showcase. So, if I just dump some of these bows somewhere else, put them up in a chest, just get rid of this stuff, and then I go back down, I do a remove again, and I right click, and it successfully removed the rest of the items. 
Alright, so that's all I wanted to cover in this video. There are some advanced commands, and I plan to put those in a later video. So, have fun making your shops. Adios.